a good, good reason I mowed the yard and put the weed eater down good for you. <laughs> tonight. All right, so the, for the last 10 years, the Augusta Broadway singers have been performing throughout the CSRA, bringing joy, entertainment, and the music from the stages of New York. And this month, they celebrate International Women's Month with a special performance of the Women of TAPS for all to attend. TAPS director Les Reagan and event conductor Stacy Branch join us this morning with all of the information. Hey, good morning, guys. Hey. Good morning. Good, morning. Morning. Us. good to be here. All right, Les, let's start with you. Let's sure. talk about the creation of this group and how it all came to be. Well, we came together in 2013, and it was to really just kind of get together and work on blending and listening that we don't get to do when we're actually doing a full Broadway show. And it has just grown since then. And this concert has um, been a dream of mine for a while, and I thought March is the perfect time, Women's Month. So there's 46 women singing in this concert, and I am thrilled with the sound that Stacy has is pulled out of it because Stacy's actually directing this show. And Stacy, let's yes. talk about that. Since it is International okay. Women's Month, you're conducting, you're setting this all up. Tell us about the event. Um, we are just going to take the evening to celebrate women composers, lyricists, um, various performers, but it's all featured around just women and music and Broadway music so it's it's been a real uh, it's been a great time getting to direct the ladies and Les has done a great job of pulling together all the music and getting everything set up for us and I appreciate the opportunity he has given us mm -hmm. And you see the information there on the screen happening at the Hardin on the 22nd. Correct. Certainly a night that you don't want to miss out. Okay? Exactly. So not only is this a singing group, it's also a nonprofit. How does the yes. organization help the community? We bring another or a different type of group to the time. We have um, choral societies here. We have show choirs here, which, of course, Stacy had directed at Lakeside when before she had retired. And now this group... I think it's somewhere in between. We don't consider ourselves a show choir. We don't consider ourselves um, a choral society. We are a theatrical ensemble. We specialize in the Broadway choral sound. And uh, so it's just another thing to the wonderful arts organizations that we have in the city. And Stacy, you being a uh, director and retired again, like you said, from, from Lakeside, tell, talk to us about the importance of continuing this uh, with, as far as uh, not only liberal arts, but audio arts as well. Well, um, music has been a part of my life, my entire life. <laughs> um, when things stopped when I retired, I really missed that. Mm -hmm. And Les gave me the opportunity to get back into it. And it's just about sharing your passion and your love of the music and getting to share it with all these extremely talented people. Um, it's, it's just, uh, and we can share it with the community. Right. And that, so it's very important for us to continue to just celebrate us, to celebrate the music, and just to share our passion. And it's a, it's a very nice getaway for people, too. You can release all the stresses that are happening in the world and just go and relax and enjoy. And so it, it's, I think it's going to be a great experience for everybody. Very well said, yep. And everyone can come out and experience this passion. Um, for people that want to become a part of the group, yeah. what's that process like? They just need to email us. You know, they can find that at info at tabsaugusta.com and just let me know of their interest. And before every rehearsal period starts, I hold auditions for people who want to, you know, come in. And auditions are not difficult. It's just I need to make sure somebody can sing and hold a pitch. Can you hold a note <laughs> in a bucket? <laughs> right, exactly. That's the question. Yes. And then we, we go from there, you know. Um, I would love to have at some point in life a 300, 400, 500 voice choir if we can find the place to rehearse and to right. perform sure. with, with something like that. But um, I, we're in our mid-50s right now with the full group. Um, we added a lot more women when we did the, the women's concert now. And um, there's just plans for the future are, are, are really growing. Um, I would love to do a show to get in, in, into the school system. I'm working on something. Hopefully I'm not going to um, uh, regret this later on, but I'd love to do an anti-bullying campaign in the schools with, uh, I have found a show about that that I would like to take into the middle schools, you know, through, our, through TABS as an outreach, you know, um, 
and um, I, th I think that would really be a nice thing for us to do. Giving, giving back to the community yes. more, than just, uh, more than just singing as well. Again, the event is going to be happening on March 22nd, 7 o'clock at the Hardin Auditorium. The women of Broadway from the Augusta Broadway Singers. Yes. Stacy, Les, thank you much for joining us. Thanks thank so you. much. Appreciate it. Thank you.